Governor Sarah Palin is fired up and firing back. But instead of attacking the Democrats, Governor Palin is taking aim at late night host David Letterman. He joked this week that Palin's daughter got knocked up by Yankee star Alex Rodriguez during Sunday's baseball game. Well, Letterman sort of issued a mea culpa, saying the joke was about Palin's 18-year-old daughter, Bristol, who is an unwed mother. But in an exclusive interview, Palin told today's Matt Lauer the jab was aimed at her 14-year-old daughter and unacceptable no matter who's the target. The comment that was made about statutory rape of my 14-year-old daughter, Will, knowing that crossed the line, and um, then uh, others chiming in on other comments that Letterman has made. Just, uh, you know, quite, a, I think, a sad commentary on where we are as a culture, as a society, to uh, chuckle and laugh through uh, comments such as he had made the let other me, night. I think it's quite unfortunate. Since David Letterman's not here, let me just say that he did not mention Willow by name, and he then went on to say he was not referring to to your 14-year-old daughter. I do want to read this statement that and you were... Matt, Go ahead. Matt, Go ahead. I, okay, Matt, I, I would say that you and anybody else are extremely naive to believe that very convenient excuse of David Letterman's the other day. He doesn't have to apologize to me. I would like to see him apologize to young women across the country for contributing to that kind of that thread that is throughout our culture that makes it sound like it's okay to talk about young girls in that way. I gotta say, Nora, I totally agree with Governor Palin in the sense that what difference does it make whether he's talking about a 14-year-old daughter or an 18-year-old daughter? I've got teenage kids myself, and if anybody's talking about one of your teenage daughters that way, it's offensive. I thought this was a key moment. I think Sarah Palin, uh, who uh, avoids um, the mainstream media, has chosen more frequently to use Fox News and conservative talk radio to make her points. The fact that she went on the Today Show, um, the first question Matt asked about was the slutty flight attendant joke. Um, that David which was Letterman, also kind of and, offensive. Which was offensive, but she made a joke about that. She said, well, I think that's an insult to the flight attendants. And sort of took that. She said, but it, was, but it was when she found out that the comments were made about her daughters that that drew the line. I thought that this was one of the strongest things that she has ever said, that she's ever spoken about. I couldn't help but think politically that she'd won over a lot of mothers uh, who were watching the Today Show this morning. For someone to sort of take this moment, I thought in some ways it was a sister soldier moment. I think it was her to denounce uh, David Letterman and take him on on an issue that I think probably a lot of people agree with and she hasn't yet been able to gain the respect of a lot of people um, I think until uh, this morning and her comments on that and my whole sense of this since I've covered it for the Today Show and done some pieces on this is that you can't control what people say about you when you're in public life but you can say how you respond to it and her first response was sort of these snide comments mm -hmm. in these statements they were sarcastic about Letterman what she said today was more thoughtful in terms of making this a teachable moment about the way we should or should not be talking about our daughters or young women well a couple of points here first of all I think it was a human moment a parent moment, mm -hmm. not a political moment, probably yeah. not likely to have political reverberations. But I do think you're exactly right. Why did she choose to go on with Matt Lauer in the Today Show this morning? Because she knew that she had a teed up target right there in David Letterman that he'd crossed the line and she could hit back and, and hit back effectively. Yeah, and she was able to talk a little bit about some energy issues, that contentious pipeline that's mm -hmm. going on up there. A lot of people say she should spend more time talking about those policy issues that she knows, but the, she also used this human, more personal side um, that may have gotten her some traction. Mm -hmm.